again welcome back to this wellness wednesday for the next coping skill i'm actually going to be showing you two because they're pretty easy um the first one is going to be called lemon squeezes so you're going to ball up your fist and you're going to pretend you're squeezing a lemon this one is good for when you're feeling angry or when you're feeling panicky is to just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and then the next one i'm going to show you is finger touches just like it sounds is doing like this and it helps if you can if you're counting with it personally i like to imagine a song or actually put a song on and tap to the beat and it doesn't have to be like each finger going i sometimes like randomize it because it helps my brain somehow i don't know <laughs> but for the finger touches we often teach it to our little kids to help them learn counting and it gives them something to focus on so when they're stressed they can go to counting and it helps them in other areas of their life as well. So it would just be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just keep going like that until you're either calm or if for like a little one, you get they get to a number that they can't get past. And then counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and going backwards and so on like that. Um, both of those work great for younger kids and they work really good for adults. Like if you're in a space where you can't get away, like if you're in like a classroom or if you're in like work or something like that, those are often silent coping skills that you can use that you can easily hide if you're embarrassed to like do them in front of people. Hope that helps. Thank you.